Hey folks, if you enjoyed you here, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell for notifications. Also consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks and check out our arts and media podcast, Words Like That, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, now shut up and get to it. Can't have no words like that. Okay, we got five GFs on this one. To the town of our free, a road a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. Well, no one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. A yeah. big iron on his hip. <laughs> He's going to hit some bass well, notes on those black tail already. Morning, From the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw, listen, running came the whisper from each lip. Then he's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. There we go. He's a stranger that rode in the Nice, town nice. Day. Back in harmony vocals here. Yeah. Here to do some business, then be on it. All right, stop it right there. I'm going to take it back just a little bit there so we can get that second verse starting in the tenor range. Yeah, this is fantastic. I grew up listening to a lot of classic country western artists, including Marty Robbins. He was a, I was a little bit older whenever I got introduced to some of his stuff beyond El Paso, but he was, when I say older, I mean like, 10 as opposed to 2 or 3, which is when I got introduced to some other country western acts. But anyway, Marty Robbins had some great western theme songs. This was one of them, Big Iron. And it's funny to me, when I saw that Jeff was doing this one, I think about voice play. They're phenomenal, but this isn't really something that voice play would do. They they lean more toward theatrical type songs or pop songs or both or whatever they do, something outside that genre. They usually do a theatrical and or pop arrangement to it. But Jeff, whenever he does solo material, he'll kind of go outside of what voice play does as a group. And one of the genres of songs that he really, really seems to like is this classic country western not not too country like the the George Jones type, but this Marty Robbins. I think about sixteen tons, which is Tennessee Ernie Ford. Let's see, he did one here. Oh, Ghost Riders in the Sky, of course. Big Bad John, Jimmy Dean. He's done those, or maybe one I'm missing right off. But anyway, he obviously loves doing them, and he does great arrangements. He's pretty much sticking fairly close to the original in terms of arrangement and general feel of the song. I think this is a little bit faster. But what he is doing with the arrangement of the harmonies, just absolutely phenomenal. This is a classic, to me, this is a classic Jeff harmony vocal arrangement. And I love that we got in in the bass range there on that first verse. And now verse two, we've gone up an octave into the tenor. I'm going to back this up a little bit, check it out. But yeah, this this is phenomenal. This is right up my alley. I love this particular era, this particular type of classic country western music. And Jeff is doing a phenomenal job. Let's get back to it. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and, and that many so men good. were dead. Wow. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on man, his, his tone on this one. Very unique for Jeff. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks all like around. Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be 
too long in town. He came here to take an owl back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter. He was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Like the dust that's blowing through this border town. Also, I really like the simplistic nature of the video. We've got footage of stock footage, western footage, western paintings. Understated, but very appropriate for this. Now the morning passed so quickly, it was time for them to be. It was 20 past 11 when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody had their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death, about to meet his death. There was 40 feet between them when they stopped to make their play. Nice, nice production choice here. The and the down. swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas Red and Unexpected melodic choices there. Not cleared leather for a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with a big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. Stranger that rode into town one day. Big Here to do some business, then be on his way. Big nice. And now we got a little bit of a modern pop thing going on there. Yeah, wow. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Well, he might have gone on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, that was that was great. That was that was a classic Jeff. Again, I love him singing this particular style of music. What he does with the arrangement with the vocals, it's reminiscent. It's not exactly the same kind of thing he did with 16 Tons, and even though 16 Tons is the same general genre from the same era, this is more of the Old West style of the country western motif, more of the, more of the western of the country western from that era. But there are still some sensibilities that you can hear that Jeff applied to the 16 Tons cover and other songs like that and this where he just had those incredible harmonies. He really just focused on the harmonies on this. Such excellent melodic and harmonic choices for the vocals on this and I liked it at the end there. It was, it was pretty much straight. I said earlier it's pretty much straight. A little bit faster than the original in the beginning and then when he got down to the end he kind of took it up a little bit and did a little bit more of that of a modern pop dance thing and it worked just great all the way around i would like to hear him tackle a johnny horton song johnny horton one of my favorite artists of all time great great country western artists from that era I would like to hear Jeff do one of his songs, maybe North to Alaska. That's got some, this it's got some backing vocals, some bass backing vocals there that I could hear him doing 
he would be doing all the parts, of course, and it would give him plenty of room to showcase his range between the bass and the tenor. Yeah, yeah that was fantastic. That was fantastic. That is, that's been one of my favorite Jeffs, just because of the sheer vocal talent. Can't wait to hear what he's going to come out with next, particularly what he's going to, what classic country western song he's going to pick next. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, consider supporting us on Patreon for the full episode. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>